Hello and welcome back to Metaphor Re Fantasio. You may be wondering why we are starting in dialogue. Well, the answer is simple. I loaded the save and the dialogue appeared, but another message appeared with it and that message said, downloadable content found. So I believe that means that it has the downloadable content uh, which you get with the deluxe edition of the game, which is the one that I purchased. So. That is almost exclusively boosters to make the early game easier. We don't want any of that. So what I'm going to do is, before we pick it up, I'm going to save and just double check what we get. There are some other items that come with the DLC which are quite interesting. But I don't know if we actually have to pick those up. Anyway. Ah yes, I've been meaning to tell you. I was rearranging things the other day and found something that maybe useful to you on your journey. <laughs> I put everything in that box atop the chair. By all means, take it. Oh, interesting. That's actually what you said previously when we last um, were in this area. So that's not related to the DLC items. So that's the mysterious treasure chest. Uh, there's some other things here. I'm just figuring out what we actually have in this academia area. It's quite large. Okay, Book of the Apocalypse, that seems important, um, okay, well, let's try picking up, uh, this first then. Looks like there's something especially valuable inside. Sin Hermelin High School Uniform. Seven Sisters High School Uniform. Gekokan High School Uniform. Yasogami High School Uniform. Shujin Academy Uniform Samurai Garb Juin High School Uniform Hero Attire Hero's Incense and Hero's Fruit And a lot of money Expensive Medicine, Revival Medicine, Magical Bread Stale Black Bread And I guess that's it Okay, is there anything in the scrolls? The scroll is the shapes of a language I've never seen before. It must be some kind of formula. It says royal magic at the top. That is... That's the formula for a rather complex spell. When mages devise such intricate magic, they commit the formula to scrolls in advance. What? Hold on, are you saying the king himself wrote this? Why would it be here of all places? I couldn't begin to tell you. Perhaps the previous king had his reasons for imprisoning me here after all. I would love to decipher its contents, but it will take a good amount of time. It is written in a script I have never laid eyes on before. But, but before you go, there is just one thing. Would you mind taking a look at the very end of the scroll? What's this? This drawing! Take a look. Indeed, it is no more than a simple illustration. But do you not think it bears some resemblance to the Seeker archetype? Moreover, it bears a caption. And mysteriously enough, of all the languages therein, there is one part I am able to parse. Hmm. It says, Alpax, likely the name of a person. Unmistakably so, though I could not begin to tell you why I feel so certain. A person's name? Hang on a second! Well, that's certainly a mystery on top of an enigma. Makes me wonder what it says. Adieu. Should you learn anything new, I would appreciate it very much if you'd share it with me. Please examine the scroll whenever you've learned new truths. Okay. Uh, well, you know what I have learned? I have learned that we're going to have to reload the game in order to get rid of the money that it gave us and the items. Um, but before we do that, we might as well have a look at some of the items that we got because they are things that should change the look of our character in here, in theory. Um, although they're not actually there. Is there another one? Ah, there's cloves, I see. So we have the Turing Ensemble. This is the St. Hermelin High School Uniform. Okay. That did not seem to change our clothes at all. Maybe it only oh, no. changes your clothes in certain areas. Let me just try another one. Nope. Okay, so that oh, no. appears to do absolutely nothing in this area. Okay, so I guess what we'll do if we want to have a look at those later is we will wait till a point in the game where 3,000 uh, just doesn't matter or a point where we're already grinding. Because if we're already grinding and we could reach 3,000 and all it's doing is saving us time, I think that works out better. 
What now? So, we are now going to reload the game from where we started today. Do that conversation very quickly. And uh, oh, right. <laughs> then we'll see where we go. I kind of like that it redoes the dialogue when you load in, just to tell you what you should be doing. Right. Mysterious scrolls. Fast forward. Wonderful. Yep. Fantastic. Um, right. Let's speak to the cat. That's a good kitty. That's right. Who's a good kitty? Hmm? Don't usually see this kind of cat in the city, huh? This cat, you see. Cute, isn't he? I named him Plateau. He's the only solace I have as I'm confined here. Hmm? Looks like Plateau wants to give me something. Hero's incense. That's a good boy. Ooh, it looks like he's taking a shine to you. As a valuable item, so do hold on to it. Okay. What does that item actually Whoa. do? Never seen this many books before. I bet the ones you have it are I bet the ones you have are in here too, don't you think? Ah, okay. Uh I've pressed Y by accident, forgot what it did. It makes uh, her oh, speak and tell us what to do next. Makes perfect sense. Um, I wanted to have a look at the item. What is Hero's Incense? Increases archetype experience by 100. Oh, okay. Let's just use it, I think. Might be a waste, but we'll use it now. On Mage. Okay, so it's like... What was that, like 75% of a level at level 1? So it's not a huge amount, but that's cool. Hello. <laughs> He's, his fur is so soft and clean. Mm. Makes me curious how he takes care of it. Okay. Hello. Welcome. Oh. Okay. Uh, we'll come back to you in a second. Uh, this? Oh, yeah? It spins around. Is it a toy? Awfully big if so. This right here. That's a celestial glow. It models the movement of the stars. Astronomy is often confused with the study of magic. Times being what they are, the association means both fields have been suppressed. Quite a shame. Okay. There's more stuff over here. Book of the Apocalypse? What's this? What's with this ominous red book? It's all chained up. That is... I advise you don't touch that. I have a variety of books here from all over the world. Many of them are quite pleasant reads. That one is not. All right. Suffice it to say, it must not be read without due precaution. Okay. Fair enough. Let's check if we've got anything else other than... Wait, we can climb up the ladder? Oh my. Okay. Descend ladder. That, there's a lot up there as well. Um... What am I even thinking of next? I guess we're going to speak to you next. I've been waiting. So we have study archetypes, which is the menu we're in previously. What is lectures? What would you care to know? What would you like to know more about? Okay, archetypes. Mm. An archetype is the embodiment of heroic virtue. Everyone bears one deep in their heart. In facing a looming threat, you face your own anxiety and so awaken to a higher power within yourself. That is the truest essence of magic. Yet for it to take that form, surely it is a manifestation of the heroic embodiment etched most prominently in your heart. This appearance they take on like extraordinary suits of armor. Perhaps this marks them another purpose. To protect the wielder from the terrible anxiety being released. It inspires a certain glow in battle, as if facing your anxiety causes determination to surge in you, like blood through veins, throughout both body and weapon. <laughs> you and your friends never cease to amaze me. Surely, this will mean leaps and bounds for my research. Research documents on archetypes are kept on their respective bookshelves. You're welcome to peruse what I've gathered so far. Aside from that, I've also documented battle tactics and history you may find useful for your further growth. What would you care to know? 
Um, studying archetypes? Hmm. Studying a new archetype will allow you to use it. If you'd like to study a new archetype, I'll accept bag as payment. However, to obtain new archetypes, you'll need to meet more followers. If you draw new su a new supporter to your side, I'd recommend visiting me to see what's been revealed. I hope you will study many archetypes, and I look forward to seeing those heroic embodiments come to fruition. I will even prepare gifts for reaching certain milestones as an incentive. What would you care to know? Channeling archetypes? Mm. Once an archetype is studied, it can be freely channeled. Similar to equipping a weapon or armor, you should channel an archetype that best suits your situation. Studying new archetypes will do you little good unless you channel them. Be mindful of that. What would you care to know? Advanced archetypes? It appears that... Each archetype can progress into stronger forms. Spending time with your followers is the key to pushing their associated archetype to greater heights. Deepening the understanding between you and your supporters will inevitably strengthen you and your allies. Don't forget that. What would you care to know? Okay. Listen. Does this worry you? You want to know about cats? Ah, about that cat in particular. I'm afraid he's a mystery to me, too, dear as he is. When I awoke in this place, he was already here. That's a good boy. But he eases my mind. Letting him helps this place feel less lonely. Indeed, I feel as if I've known him all my life. For whatever reason. Does this worry you? Oh, okay. That's a good cool. So we've got everything we can learn from him here. Let's look at the memor uh, the memorandum because we have even more stuff here. Okay. Uh, let's start with magic. Mag. In the school fragments of magla crystals that accumulate in the bodies of animals and magical beings in areas where magla is dense, though they are of little use to ordinary citizens, there is a system in Grand Trad where people can sell their fragments. As a result, some people, like soldiers, whose work gives them ample opportunity to leave the city, carry a bag to collect them instead of throwing them away. Okay, history. Halia. A mountain village governed by House M. Halietis, the family of Leon Stroll. Not wishing to partake in the extravagant lifestyle of most nobles, Stroll's parents were modest in their governance and considerate to their people. However, when a human suddenly attacked seven years ago, the village was reduced to rubble after petitions for the state army aid, state army's aid went unanswered. Stroll's parents lost their lives, saving their son and their people. Today, the village remains uninhabited, no trace of its former self remaining. People On Galica Galica tried to stay resolute as a uh, Grem's chaperone, but as he gets involved in unexpectedly intense battles, she begins to doubt her role in the grand scheme of things. However, with the fairy's unique ability to deflect anxiety, she does her best to keep her, the protagonist in what uh, she does her best to help the protagonist in whatever way she can. Stroll, the son of the noble family of Halia, a village that was destroyed by a human. Now that he has lost his home and family, he has only his pride to redeem himself from the shallowness of his past self. Captain. Klinger. The captain in charge of new recruits at the recruitment center, a short, portly, unsoldierly man, called an incompetent fool by Stroll after an attack on the fort led him to order new recruits to the front lines in a panic, or so he made it seem. In actuality, he is a fervent supporter of Luis and has always planned to take a mass of new recruits to die at the hands of humans in order to demonstrate his support of Luis's assertions. Okay, and then Plateau. Moore's pet cat who lives in academia with him. He doesn't necessarily resemble the animals called cats that exist elsewhere. A strange charm hanging around his neck, a type of magic igniter according to Moore, allows for visions of him to be projected outside of academia. Okay, interesting. I wonder if this is how we're going to get communication with Moore outside. Maybe the cat will be there? Hmm. Oh, do we have anything else? No. Okay. 
Well, let's start reading book. Squad Tactics Handbook. Yielding turns? Oh, oh, okay. That's a lot of stuff here. Those are yielding turns. Allowing your allies to take an action instead and leaving yourself vulnerable may seem futile at first glance, but you'll find it leads to many strategic possibilities. Try to consider many aspects of battle, such as the order of turns, advantages against the enemy, and the state of your allies when deciding your actions. Okay, so you can pass, but it only consumes half of a turn icon. Okay, this can be useful when the current character's skills are not effective against the enemy or when you want to give a character with recovery magic another action. Okay. Um, guarding. We already know about guarding. Um, so I'm just going to skip that. Press B to guard. Greatly decreases the, ga uh, the damage your character takes. So even what no one knew about it, there's actually new tutorials here, I think. Okay. Or pretend... I didn't want to do that tutorial again. Oh no, they might be old tutorials. Okay, formations, we already know about. Negated attacks? If you lose the ability to attack, the enemy will quickly gain the upper hand. When confronting an unfamiliar enemy, due caution is warranted. Normally an action consumes one turn icon, but the results of the attack can change the amount of consumption. If an attack is nullified or evaded, the number of turn icons consumed is doubled. If an attack is reflected or absorbed, all turn icons are lost and the turn forcibly ends. Okay, fair enough. Status ailments? Some monsters inflict lasting conditions called status ailments. It's wise to benow their effects, of course, but even better to have means of remedy close to hand. So there are two types of status ailments, physical and mental. It's possible to be inflicted with both types at once. Physical status ailments persist even after a battle ends. Mental status ailments automatically recover when the battle ends. Intriguing. Okay. So, physical ones are poison. HP depletes every time you take an action. Paralysis, high chance of an action failing. Malady, strength, magic, endurance, agility, luck are greatly reduced. Additionally, HP and MP recovery effects are nullified, with recovery amounts becoming zero. Hex, half of any damage dealt to self, or damage dealt is dealt to self as well. Additionally, while afflicted, resistance to dark is greatly reduced and susceptibility to status ailments is greatly increased. Well, that's new. Burn, additional damage is taken after being attacked. So instead of after attacking, which is poison, this is being attacked. And then frostbite, attack damage is greatly reduced. The mental, days, hit rate for attack is greatly reduced. Charm, a character will act on their own, attacking allies or assisting enemies. Forget, character cannot use archetype skills. Sleep, character cannot take any actions. And any physical attacks suffered are always critical hits. It doesn't say you wake up after a sleep if you're hit there. Rage, character has higher attack power but damage from enemies is greatly increased. All actions become normal weapon attacks. Anxiety, an ally only ailment preventing the use of archetype skills. If attacked while afflicted, the enemy will not consume a turn icon. If attacked while afflicted, the enemy will not consume a turn icon. Okay, and I'm just curious what it means by an ally-only ailment. But anyway, stun. An enemy-only ailment. They cannot act for one turn. Oh, I understand. So, it's saying that stun is something that can only apply to enemies, and anxiety is something that can only apply to us. Okay. Cool. And then, the rewards of certain victory? Overpowering the enemy utterly can be a source of immense growth. At times, it is good to wield all your powers in full force to test your own limits. If you crush all your enemies without getting damaged, you will see bonus experience from the battle. Okay, well, I, I, the reason I read it, I already knew that, but I was kind of hoping it would give me like a little bit more. Like some, something else there. Okay, Archetype Tactics Handbook. Archetypes cannot realize their true potential on individual strength alone. Strategies must account for attack, support, recovery, teamwork, and formation. Naturally, optimal strategies require first grasping the fundamentals, yet battles demand a team of singular specialization and boldness in planning. The most effective way to form your party is to consider the balance of attack, recovery, assist skills in your archetypes. If you obtain information about enemies in advance, you can arrange archetypes to counter enemy strengths and strike at enemy weaknesses. 
Cultivate your archetype strategically so you can employ a wide range of battle strategies. Don't go down one thing because something will have a null and then you'll end up not being able to actually do anything. I understand. I think we have to read all the green books actually looking at this here. This might be our, our task. Invasion Tactics Handbook? What does this mean? Enemy Reinforcements. Remember that your foes have a grasp of teamwork. Charging blindly into a well tuned enemy group can easily lead to preventable loss of life. After squad battle has ended, nearby enemies may show up as reinforcements to continue the fight. That's why you don't want to go into large groups of enemies that you're too weak to fight or like easily destroy. Wielding weapons? A channeled archetype's power has significant impact on the effect of any gear or weapons equipped. Each weapon category offers their own attack range and agility. Once you understand the dynamics of archetypes in combat gear, success will come easier. While in dungeons, the protagonist's method of attack depends on his weapon and can be changed by switching the archetype he has channeled. Different archetypes change both the attacks and actions available to you and the protagonist's attack range. Keep this in mind when choosing an archetype for the protagonist. So I guess if you're in the back row, you probably can't attack with like a short sword. That would make sense. I mean, you could attack with magic, but not like a bigger sword. Okay, Just checking we've got everything down here, which I think we do. Climb up the ladder. Oh, we got research notes on ones that we can't read yet. Okay. Archetype advancement handbook. Okay, archetype growth. To grow in power and versatility, an archetype must be channeled as you fight your foes. Archetypes rank up by earning experience. Wonderful. Archetype stats. Each archetype has its own set of unique parameters. But, so do all who channel them. The sum of these numbers is the total measure of one's strength in combat. Each archetype has its own set of parameters. These are added to a character's base parameters and the sum determines their, stat their stats in battle. It's worth noting that means some abilities can lose value depending on the archetype channeled. Okay, that makes sense. That's what we were talking about with uh, Rias last time. Not a lot of point giving him certain things because he um, has... So because his um, other stats are bad, like his magic stat is not impressive. Advanced Archetypes May seek out even more powerful forms of each archetype. To study them, one must grow closer with certain supporters and cultivate the original archetype. Okay, each archetype has at least one stronger, more advanced form you will eventually be able to study. Advanced Archetypes can be studied after achieving a higher rank with its corresponding follower. However, studying Advanced Archetype will require both mag and keeping Oh, and ranking the base archetype high enough. Okay. I wonder if there's going to be um, multiple ones. like, uh, Or there's going to be like fusion ones. Like if you get mage and seeker high enough, there's like mage seeker at the top or something. Probably not, based on what we've heard. But it'd be interesting. Um, okay. We have research notes. Seeker, warrior, and mage. Let's start with seeker. Hold on. In times of yore, there lived heroes who ventured into unknown lands in pursuit of their ideals. Their souls together formed the power of the Seeker. This was not just one legendary hero. Across many lands and eras, those intrepid spirits who sought greater heights on the Seeker's path had borne that alias. Among them, the Adept who pursues a magical path I dub the Magic Seeker, and the Elite who seeks the deepest truths of the soul I dub the Soul Hacker. Okay, so I literally said, uh, like, I think I pretty much said Magic Seeker about two seconds ago, and Soul Hacker is an SMT spin off game. Uh, they did a re more recent one, is Soul Hackers uh, 2, which is kind of intriguing that they're using the same name here. Anyway. Whoa! Huh, so the Seeker archetype has a whole sequential lineage. The Seeker archetype does not excel at any one skill. But it bears the, special, uh, the specialties of many other heroes and can perform any task. A jack of all trades is a master of none. Let no seeker forget this truth. So if you take this, you're going to be useful at a lot of things, but you're not going to be really good at anything. I see. I get it, so it's easy to use, but that's not enough to fight alone. I guess fighting with specialized allies might be the thing that draws out his true power. 
yeah. So you go into Seeker heavily if you don't want to pick something in particular, and then you want your allies to uh, shine, right? So like, and also it would be really good if you want to switch your allies in and out, I'd assume. So you could potentially be like, we're going to stay on Seeker, we're not really going to move, but we're going to have our al we're going to have like a strength ally that we can bring in, we're going to have a magic ally, and we're going to be able to fill in a role when one of them is taken out for another one. Okay, cool. Uh, mage. In times of yore there lived heroes who sought relentlessly to unravel the secrets of magic. The souls together form the power of the mage. Among them the adept who grasps at ultimate power I dub the wizard and the elite who commands the elements I dub the elemental master. In addition another elite form making use of dark magics is known to exist. Truly the mage archetype has unparalleled command of affinity based magic. But mages devote themselves fully to mind and magla. While the mind is powerful, it must kneel before pure strength at times. Let no mage forget this truth. Oh yeah? So it's a great archetype for hitting enemy weak points with powerful magic, but it can't really dish out damage or take much punishment. Okay. Interesting, it says you can't really deal much damage. So it's like you are very, very good at having a wide range of things that you can hit but you need somebody else to actually deal the damage on top of that. Okay, warrior? In times of yore there lived heroes who sought nothing less than perfection with the sword. Their souls together formed the power of the warrior. Among them, the adept who slays hordes I dub Swordmaster, and the elite discipline of the blade I dub Samurai. The warrior archetype imparts peerless skill with the sword, his devotees belong in the front lines, punishing their foes with brutal, slashing swings. The sword's purpose is ultimately as a weapon. And it is not weapons alone that decide a battle's victor. Let no warrior forget this truth. Got a sec? So this archetype has really good attack and defense, but their value comes from attacking the front row. But they're not very versatile beyond the sword. Yeah, so that's your damage. Basically, sword guy hits very hard all the time and then you end up doing lots and lots of damage off of that. Okay, there's a reason I ran around the back. I just wanted to see if there was anything else there. I'm not going to read all of the names of things, but see a few as we went around there. I think we might be done in here. Let's save. We have been in here a while. Okay. Well, time to leave and uh, go back and speak to our uh, friends who have been... Uh, well, I, I guess they've just kind of been standing there while we've been doing this. Maybe time moves weirdly. Also, massive statue. I wonder if this represents archetypes. It also looks like a merging of all the tribes. Hmm. A merging of all the tribes, you say? It's a little bit like the fantasy book, huh? Alright, open door. Hi, young friend. You are truly as remarkable as I first believed. Others fated to awaken to their own power will be naturally drawn to you. To reach the lineage of power's greatest potential, you must acquire more archetypes and bring them together. After all, a hero without allies is nothing more than a lone dissenter. To save the many, you must learn to fight with the power of many. Only a champion of the people may awaken the power of heroes, and with it, sees a future of their own making. <sighs> when next you come to see me, I hope it shall be of your own volition. Open my book, then let your imagination conjure this place anew, as vividly as you can make it. I'm sure that will be enough to reunite us. As long as you walk your path, I shall faithfully watch over you. May we meet again. What? Where are we? You two all right there? Looked as if you were in some kind of trance. Trance? Wait. Have we been here this whole time? It was strange. As if I felt something in the air. My senses sharpened near tenfold. It reminded me of my old days studying magic. What? So that wasn't a dream. Grius, that's probably his power. You studied back at the Sanctum, right? I know you couldn't get the hang of it then, but... 
I think we might have just awakened it. I told the two about the term archetype and the gist of what I learned. Awakened it? But that? Who are you people? The truth, if you would. Look, in all honesty, we barely know any more than you do. But the short version is, well, I think you can use that power now. I think you might be right. The way it feels is... Well, this is magic, eh? I'd all but given up on it, but... Fate had other plans, it seems. Enough. We must move on. There is far to go still. And lad, I follow your lead now, at least when it comes to how we use these skills in battle. We haven't the luxury of time to train with magic. Same here. You've clearly got a sense for this, and I'd rather make myself useful than muddle your strategies. You can now give instructions to your allies during battle. During battle, you can use the right stick to engage in auto battle, causing your party to fight according to your tactic settings. Change auto battle ta tactics, press the left bumper, go to the order view, and then use the button. Five days until the funeral. That's precious little time, and we'd best not waste it. Cool. Luke, What's over up? there. What's the matter? You don't see anything? I don't sense anything off. What are you on about? So no one else sees him? Maybe we're the only ones who can go to that room. Oi, oi. Are you lot alright? Pardon? I saw a dead miner and assumed there'd been some accident. But looking at it now, that isn't the case at all. There's the military. What business would they have in a place like this? Hold on, don't tell me they're after the miners. Hold on. Wait, how did you get in here? I'm certain the entrance and exit were sealed off by soldiers. Soldiers? I didn't see anyone. Only one I saw was that pasty fellow who looked like some kind of general. You mean Klinger? But we left him splayed out over there. Huh? What? He's gone? Damn it. Damn, we must go after him. It'd be bad for us if he returns with reinforcements. No. Leave him be. He has no one else left, I wager. He was bluffing about sealing off the exits. On top of that, he failed to finish us off. He won't be able to return to Luis with anything le but a disgrace. Sure. You're right. Let's leave him be, at least for now. It's not like he can go back to the military either after what he said to us. Hmm. I've no idea what this is all about, but I'm relieved. I was worried everyone would be dead near. I'm going to be around for a while, so if you need anything, you know who to ask. Entrance to Academia. The protagonist and... Or the protagonist and uh, Golika can uh, can see the uh, can see more in dungeons and towns. Interact with him to take a moment, read your novel, and transport to Academia. Traveler's voice dungeons. Use that to see what level other players were at and what fort party formations they used when they cleared the dungeon you were challenging. When selecting information to review, you can also change your party's formation to reflect another player's. Ah, huh. interesting. <sighs> we might as well do it once. See what it's like. Okay. So, a lot of people run in Seeker Warrior Warrior or Mage Warrior Warrior. Yeah, apart from the people who made Grius a Mage, who were obviously just doing the wrong thing. Potentially, I don't know. Maybe if you make him a Mage, things become much better. But yeah, it does seem like Mage for um, us is a very popular one. Some people made him Seeker as well. Yeah, I guess if you wanted a balanced party, making him Seeker does make some level of sense. Okay, interesting. Okay. Um. Right, Matt. Where to? Doesn't look like there's anything around here. I don't know if there's any benefit to exploring. It, it doesn't seem like there is beyond just looking at the map and seeing if there's a blue dot. Hello. In have the troops to secure the entrance and exit. Thinking about it now, I should have seen right through his bluff. It was my duty to protect you and Galika. I regret to admit my judgment has dulled, so I failed you both. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Look at you. All full-fledged. I suppose 
Now I'm the one being told what to do when it comes to fighting. Time to rely on that power of yours. I'll leave you to lead the battle. Let's go. If we can get past this point, we'll soon find the road to Grand Frat. We can't be late for the royal funeral. Let's hurry. Damn it, we can't let Klinger get away. He won't get away. <clears throat> I know this is no time for relentless pursuit, but this doesn't sit well with me. Above all, the mission is our priority right now. We must reach Grand Trad before the royal funeral. Besides, if Luis is the mastermind behind all this, there is only one thing for me to accomplish. Oh, definitely. He must be assassinated. I'll do everything I can to make that happen. I'll continue to count on you. Hello. Oh. <laughs> These minor blokes and I go way back. I've known them since before the mountain was closed. That's why I can't stand it, one of my mates being dead. I'm sorry for involving him. Ain't your fault. Mining is dangerous to begin with, and they knew they were doing it illegally. They all knew something like this might happen. I'm just as guilty for helping them. I suppose things were destined to end this way. I should take the hint and close up shop. Yes, I've decided. If I'm quitting, then I might as well go out with a bang. Even my secret stash is on sale These now. Come highly recommended. I'm even clearing out my stock of weapons and armor. Typically reserved for just my regulars. Help me out and buy it all, yeah? Okay, we'll sell the scrap metal. What have you got? So, bronze machete. Bastard sword, and then... Um... Acacia rod? So, I don't think we need the rod, because we're going to be... Um, attacking with our magic abilities, which I don't think this actually improves, because this is a strike. But the Bastard Sword and the Machete are definitely interesting. So Bastard Sword for both of them. That could be worth it. Own Best. So that's a little increase to Grias, but a big increase to um, to Stroll. We probably don't need it because we've deliberately gone for the Evasion one. Could, however, get this, which would give us magic. Okay. Let's say that's like 2.2. Two of those is 2.8. We'd grab these as well, which would give us all sorts of things. We'd lose evasion if we did that. Miner's gloves, we already have strength on people. Leg guards, I don't know if we have those. Hmm. Okay, and then firmus ointment. Cures burn for one ally. Does ice damage. Now, curing burn is interesting, because that implies we might be hit with burn. And burn is a physical one, and physical proceed past the end of a battle. I think it's worth buying these two. I'm gonna buy two of these. Perfect. That's actually really easy to equip. Uh, we could buy the Pilgrim's Cloak while we're here as well. Would lower our evasion, but giving us magic is probably worth it. Let's do that. And now we're out of money, so that's, that's it. Much obliged. You lot take care of yourself, you hear? Don't be shy about restocking if you're running low on supplies. Actually, Listen, they defied authority and mined illicitly. They're all prepared for something like this to happen. Fortunately, I have a bit of money left from what I've earned. Perhaps I'll start a legitimate trade with the rest of my mates. Thank you. Okay. Uh, let's do a save here. And keep moving. Okay. Hello. <sighs> Ugh, that was nearly it for me. I'm sorry. Sorry you got dragged into all this. Most of the guard soldiers aren't unhinged maniacs, if that helps. Right, considering you're apologizing, I guess you ain't the bad guys. <sighs> I see why Klinger uh, stooped to using hostages as bait. A worthless captain, but he certainly had an eye for new recruits. A surefire tactic against your like. I'm heartily ashamed. That aside, you're not passing through these caves, are you? Best turn back now, if so. Something nasty in the air lately. The gelatinoses jiggling around in there. They're not just little jellies anymore. They're downright dangerous. Tried chasing them away, but the blade doesn't do much to them. Fire's our best shot, or getting someone with an igniter to blast them. Ah, so that's why there are multiple people running multiple mages. Because if you can run multiple mages in here, then you can double fire. I understand. Didn't used to be so many of them around. Now there's so many, we might never clear them out. 
This place is a right monster's den these days. All I'm saying is, it's a long way to the other end of the mountain. No man could get through that unscathed. But... The king's funeral is upon us. We haven't the time to look for other routes. Yeah. Something else we can do then. But we should at least make sure we can use some magic. Oh. Well, we can. That's good. Hello. <sighs> Deeper inside's a real monster's den, I tell you. We've got to mind those gelatinoses in particular. They're so, bob they're so blobby that swords won't cut through them. If you run into one, I suggest you set it on fire and chase it off. Okay. Um, one thing actually I do want to check while we're here. What now? Is there any way of like saying I want to be in... Ah, you can formation. I was wondering if there was a way of saying where you want to be in the battle. Ah, so you can move yourself to the back line. Perfect. That is exactly what I wanted to do. Great. Hello. Hi. I wouldn't go any further if I were you. The mining area has felt strange lately. Not just monsters, there's some dangerous magla crystal that memori uh, mesmerizes them, or so the others claim. I thought a mere superstition, but either way, it's not normal. Just be on your guard. Okay, and we have an item. Cool, grand iron. Okay, that might be worth some money. Okay, let's do a save he here. And now we are ready to move forward. Let's go. And into the dungeon. What was this? This uncanny feeling in the air. This place. The magla here feels awfully dense too. Was it always like this? It was not. This used to be a completely mundane mine shaft, no different from the others. That being the case. Perhaps this is what that miner was talking about before. Something about the interior of this place being unusual. Assassinating Luis is our top priority. Do not forget that. Prepare yourselves now, for we'll have no time to rest until we're through here. <sighs> I know numbers, so watch your health carefully. We clear? Auto recovery. You can press up to auto heal. Be careful. Okay. Still uses your resources, though. What side is the front? Enemies up ahead. Looking all the way at the one at the back, I think that's their front. I think we're at the back of this one, so we should be able to attack. That wasn't quite what I expected, because it's a new weapon. Okay, good to know. Nice damage. Okay. Let's go. Could do a diagonal slash to see how much it does. It's probably nothing, but let's see. Resisted it. Fire. Nice. Can't to hold back. So I could yield our turn if we wanted to. Oh, I see. We got half turn there. Okay, I was just thinking. No holding. Okay, let's back. let's hit I'll another one. <sighs> Not done yet. No need to rush this. Yield Last turn. Let's take Come forth. Then fire. Okay, I think I know how to do these in the future. Cannot move due to stun. Cannot move due to stun. Perfect. Um, attack. You'll turn. Fire. Nice. That works for me. Bunch of experience. Unscathed triumph. Bunch more experience. Everyone gets a little bit closer to a level. Okay, that attack is so much worse than the sword. I say, like, look at this. This is just so much worse. Okay. Anyway. Uh, that one's facing this direction and it isn't moving. So we probably want to head this way if we can. Enemies up ahead. Hmm. We don't know what this snake is like. Right there. And hit it. <laughs> nice. Don't we got it. Okay. Let's see how this goes. I'll go for the kill. Let's take That's pretty good. Next Pass. No holding back. Kill it. <laughs> Wonderful. Another unscathed victory. We got some magla pills. No more and we Goodbye. got a level up for Stroll. Nice. Or rank up on his uh, thing. Okay. Uh, these guys are all weak. 
just want to wait for the moment. We want them to turn around and then we we go in. There they are. Go, 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 go. Nice. We learned a new skill. Okay. That's cool. Grab this. What was our new skill? Uh, skill. Us. Uh, Blizz. So we can now try ice damage. Cool. Check in the map. We've got an item around the corner. We can grab. Nice. Oh, hello. See the enemy. You see me, huh? Okay. They hit us first. Oh, no. Well, luckily we're at the back. It's not the end of the world. The tanky guys are at the front, but still. Not ideal. What is Phantom Dance? Did I accidentally turn on... Okay, enemy ambush squad battles. If you're being attacked in a dungeon, you'll be forced into a squad battle that begins on the enemy turn, which is dangerous. I have no idea what Phantom Dance was, but it seemed cool. Hit it. Nice. Pass. Slash. Nice. At least that's okay. We didn't get unscathed victory, but we did kill it, and we got an actual level up. Okay, we got a strength one here. I'm going to take a point of magic. I feel like we need just a tad more damage. Not for, like, because we're not doing enough right now, but because we won't be doing enough when we hit a boss fight. That's what I'm thinking. There's a chest back here, but there's a fight on the way to it. Just open that up. Retreat. And just chill here for a second. Okay. Everyone all right? gave up. What a relief. Okay. That's fine. There they are. Followed by attacking. Oh, I need to dodge that. Sorry, I need to roll to dodge that. That's my mistake. Okay. They lost their turns thanks to our dodge. That's not enough damage. We can do okay. Uh, they are weak to ice. Oh, I guess once you kill one, you know what they're weak to. That's cool. Uh, attack. And attack. Wonderful. Cool. That's about does it. Got some XP. And we can grab this. We found something. Magla pills. Okay. Uh, I can't help but notice we're being given an extreme number of magla pills. Uh, what happens if I do auto recovery? So I can use my MP. It is. Okay, that's fine. I can I can cope with that. Um Head this way first. Oh, um, it's kind of awkward. Uh, this is fine, though. We're heading over this way, huh? Is he gonna... I don't know. Move, or... Guess not. Okay, well, I really thought we were gonna lock onto the one nearer me. That's my mistake. Ow. 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 Okay. Um. Hit it. Nice crit. Okay. Let's go with fire on this one. Hit it. Nice crit again. Okay, and fire. Apparently this is also weak to ice. Okay. Cool. Not unscathed again, but that's alright. Okay, so we can now wait for this one to turn around. I'll auto recovery again. Okay. Waiting for it to turn to the left here. That's not left, that's towards us. Uh, excuse me? Why would you make them corporeal? Oh, they're now classified as weak? All right. Oh. They look pretty weak. Let's That's cool. This up quick. So is that the way we need to go? Uh, yes. Okay. They Someone's now classified as weak to are. us. Got this. 
Okay. Cool, since we leveled up. They're now weak. Okay. Nice. Okay. That certainly makes life easier when dealing with this. I guess when you're going through a dungeon, you should also be thinking, like, if I level up, am I gonna, are these guys going to be weak later and then I can just blast them? We actually killed them without even meaning to. Cool. We got another rank up for warrior there. And... Hit them. Nice. That'll do it. Treasure chest. We found the find. We found miner's boots. Agility endurance. Okay. Well, they seem like something that should be given to one of our frontliners. Let me just have a look at their details here. Uh, yes. Yeah, so these should probably go to Stroll because he's slightly weaker. Okay. Uh, is this his gear? So in le instead of one strength, he would gain agility endurance. I think that makes sense. Just make him a little bit tankier, as he should be the one taking a lot of the damage along with, um, along with Grius. Okay. Moving on. Not good. This was all for naught if our way is blocked. I don't like this. That's not all either. I'm sensing Magla and the feelings are only getting stronger. It's disturbing, like back at the fort. Don't tell me. Same as the fort. Surely you don't mean. But. Fear is a luxury we can't afford right now, lad. Galaka's words are cause for concern. But for now, we need to keep moving. Look. Look closely, lad. There's a gap between those collapsed rocks. We should be able to squeeze through if we go one at a time. Okay. Let's go. And you're weak enough that we can instantly kill you. I feel stronger already. These guys aren't. This is bad. Roll. They're onto us. Squad battle. We won't right, so that's why you would do a squad battle. It's be I've now figured it out. The reason you would do a squad battle is because you, you're like, I don't I'll know if I can down. actually uh, right, get Ready? one of them hit enough before you get into combat. Any means necessary. Hit this one. I will fight. I won't hold back. Fire. Now, what's the plan? Nice. Uh, now the plan is to hit this one. Two remaining. No need to rush. Uh, pass. Fire. That's the spirit. Nothing to worry about. They at one turn. They crit us. Caustic acid. Fence fell. More caustic acid. Ow. Your guard's down. Okay. Well, uh, pass. Pass. Fire. Um, attack. Nice. We did it. Okay. We get corrosive acid as a thing. Is that like a recipe or something? Okay. Check items. What is that? Unknown creature's digestive fluid dissolves anything in its path, decreases defense for one enemy for three turns. So I think that's meant to be like a scroll. Okay, interesting. Um, yeah, I'm just seeing what we got here. If there's anything that's got anything more in it. No, okay, that's fine. I think some of this is going to have some info on it, but like these are just random things we're finding. Okay, that's fine. A lot of them are just an unremarkable thing given by more. Presumably so you actually have equipment to use uh, the different um, classes. Okay. Mm. Luke. Let's go in here. Then hit him. Nice. Cool. Now head out this way. Uh, let's have a little look at the map right again. Now. It looks like Central Passage is the way we want to go. We got in here. Two of these guys. I bet there's treasure around here. They, they apparently normal weakness for us. Right there. Oh, okay, no, they were actually weak for us. That's fine. What have we got? Right. Good find. Iron gauntlets, two strength. Okay. Um. Well, equipment wise, Grius. 
If you're currently using one strength, you should use two strength. That makes sense to me. Okay. Get out of here. And then, middle passage. Looking safe. Let's go. Okay. And straight forward. Deeper into the mine. Yeah, let's just squash battle. It's like in our way. Sandworm, hit it. So these are the things that we saw at the uh, start of the game, actually. Hit it. Test ice. It was weak to ice. Nice. Hit it. This thing's pretty strong. Uh, it gets a turn. Fire breath. Ow. Feral crush. Okay. Ice. I also just realized we have no healer. What are we healing with? Maybe it switches to the archetype that's got healing and then you can heal using that archetype, but probably not. I did use our M yeah, it used our MP for healing. Yeah, it must switch to the Seeker archetype and heal on that. That's the only thing I can think of it doing. Anyway. Passive increases physical skill attack by 10%. Attack increases further if archetypes of the same lineage are present. I think nice. That's all of them. Okay. But yeah, you see if I do auto recovery. Definitely heals us there. So if I use skills and have a look at us. We don't have any skill that would do that. But I'm guessing that right now we Why could not? go into our party. Uh, or into our world equipment. And could we change our archetype? Uh, yes, we could change our archetype. So it must do that and then heal. Okay. Right. Um, these guys are all weak to us. Okay. Nice. Perfect. I think that's all of them. Okay. Work our way backwards. Grab that one. Nice find. Magla pill. Looks like it could be useful. Yeah, over here. That's not anything. This is something, though. No? Another chest. You're so lucky. Mining uniform can be purified at a church. Okay. I'm assuming that means like it's loot that you get later. So if you purify it at a church, you can then get the actual benefits of it, but right now it does nothing. Okay. Interesting. More scrap metal. Okay. Just a bunch of They're weak ones. to us. That's fine. Let's do that. Mage uh, ranked up again. More fairy dust. Uh, two paths forward. It looks like the left path is the correct path, so let's go down the Oh, they link together anyway. Okay. It doesn't collapse again. So we can see these ones down here. Very surprised. I guess if we had the single target attack, that would have been a lot scarier. I see the enemy. Oh, we got hit by the snake. Oh no. Alright, well this is horrible. Matarukaja, everyone's attack goes up. Another Matarukaja, everyone's attack goes up again. Okay, so it's got multiple levels of, uh, of buffs. That's useful to know. Uh, hit it. Okay, hit it. Nice. A little bit of fire. In the name of justice. Uh, can I kill one of these? Two remaining. Nice. Okay, Al. Attack went up again. Are there three levels of attack up, or is that the only ability it has? That might just be the only ability it has. That's what I'm starting to think. No, no, we've got three levels of attack up. Okay. You can stack buffs pretty far in this game. 
right. Okay. Level up to level eight. He gets magic and endurance. Okay, they definitely thought you might give him the magic thing. Unless these are randomized, in which case it's just a bad roll. Alright, let's just auto recovery here. Oh, we're also burned. I just realized that means our attack damage is lowered. Uh, okay. That's interesting. Uh, well, we don't have any way to remove... Oh, no, we do. We have a way to remove it for one. Nice. Uh, magla pill. Just do a couple of those. Just up our magla a little bit. Yikes. That one's a level 11. Okay, so that's the one we have to feast it one before. Okay. Well, okay, we might not defeat it now it attacked us first. Ow. Okay. Well, hit it. Followed by hitting it. Followed by hitting it with ice. Followed by hitting it. Okay, it gets two turns. Feral Crush. Feral Crush. Ow. I think we kind of need to just kill this one. I don't know if we can be in a protracted fight with it. We're just going to keep hitting it for as much damage as possible. Alternatively, that's the wrong button. <laughs> oh no, don't kill me. This is going to be our first death, I can, t I can tell. Okay. Oh, and we die? Are we alive? We can we can survive with zero HP. So when the protagonist dies, you don't lose the fight automatically. Huge info. I think that's all of them. Huge info. <laughs> Given our current HP. Okay. Well, in theory, that should be getting us a good amount of XP killing those guys. Um. But yeah. Ow. Okay. So in case you're wondering what happened there, uh, Persona has the, um, has, what's it called, item button is X or something, and this game doesn't. X in this game is basic attack. I don't think anything would be too tough. Okay. Right there. Let's push through. Oh, it got me again. We'll hold our ground. I'm really bad at fighting these guys. I should just not bother. I should just squad attack. Oh, We're really just not doing enough damage. Maybe if we had the sword, I'd feel better about it, but... Yeah, I don't know. Fire Fang. Okay. Warrior. Uh... Kill it? They die hard. No. Not quite. Warrior. Kill it? Got that one. Uh, let's do a little ice. And kill it. And scales attack. It does have an actual attack. Okay. Kill it. Oh no, that, that was embarrassing. Let's do fire. And then... Oh, right, yeah, because we missed, we lost the turn. That's fine. Attack. Okay. Can I get in it here? That's about does it. Despite being very similar to like the SMT combat, there's definitely some differences in this one. Yeah, in just in terms of how it feels. I don't know. Although that might be because we're starting fights just very uh, badly. Right. Nice. Amazing. Guard Talisman increases endurance by three. So is that a charm? I think that's a charm, oh, wow. right? Uh, it is. Okay. Well, we'll give that to uh, Stroll here. And then that's everything on this side. Yes. Okay. So I think when we see those red ones, we're just going to squad attack. Same as if we see any more level 11 ones, we're just going to squad attack. Okay. That's fine. Okay, we're going back this way because this is the way we actually need to go. Okay. And then through here. Ah. Okay, what's up with that door? Hey! Hey, see that room over there? The magla feels less dense there compared to the rest of this place. 
safe room? Is that so? I don't feel anything. But... Thought it was just a feeling, but now I can see it. it's like the magla hollows out just for that room. <laughs> Back in the sanctum, I learned that fairies are natural adepts at sensing magla. It's safe to assume that Galaka is no exception. How about a break? Maybe we, we can get some rest in there. Why don't we head inside? Indeed. It's not a bad idea. We should catch our breath before continuing. Oh. I wanted to grab the item hey. first, but it's okay. This doesn't see uh, this does seem like an ideal place to rest. I'm just wondering why the magla's thinner here. I couldn't tell you much, it's just like a feeling I get. <laughs> a very intensity to the magla that floats through the air. For example, think of it like steam or smoke. It may not it, it seems not much could seep into this room. A magla hollow, if you will. Even your igniters won't work in here. Hmm. A magla hollow seems as good a term as any, and all the better if Gallica can sense them. You could say that. It's easier to spot a big absence of magla when the area around it is flooded with the stuff. All right. Uh, the beasts seem to lo seem loath to approach as well. Let's catch our breath here while we can. Magla hollows. In dungeons, you'll find places called magla hollows that can be used as resting points. Here, you can safely speak with your allies, record your travels, or visit Academia. Okay. What should I do? Obviously make a record. This will allow us to save here. And, I think with that save, we are going to end the episode here. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.